the story. But this is a nice uh, dry run. Take two indeed. <laughs> Hi folks, I have uh, Shimon Ross with me. She, uh, she and I worked together on the Fortune um, Global uh, Forum that uh, she put together in uh, 2007 in New Delhi. It's one of those big CEO uh, forums. Shimon was actually with the Fortune Group. Uh, she's been there for five years and she ran the, uh, the, the events uh, platform for them in terms of the content and the editorial side of the fans. So she's somebody who's extremely knowledgeable about what happens in the world, what kind of pieces need to come together, and what makes for good conversations. And she is now in a very interesting, um, you know, uh, startup that she co-founded with David Kirkpatrick, the technology editor of Fortune, and uh, it's called Technomy, right? So do you want to talk a little bit, Techonomy. So do you want to talk a little bit more about that, Dashimon? Sure. So um, Techonomy is a uh, two and a half year old um, startup. We do consider ourselves to be a media company, but our main activity is um, organizing the Techonomy conference, which happens in Tucson, mm. Arizona. Uh, a small conference, about 250 people, and our, our focus is sort of the, the intersection of technology and the economy. And what we are about is technology for productivity and, and progress, um, economic and social, not just social. Okay, okay. What kind of conversation happens in there? The conversations tend to be relatively broad. Um, we focused a lot last year on sort of a corporate spring and um, sort of a lot of what was happening in terms of social within corporations. Um, David actually wrote a uh, story or an article for Forbes related to that for the, the coming corporate revolution, I believe it was called. Um, so we talk a lot about technology within corporations, but we also we try not to focus just on information technology. Mm. So we also discussed um, DIY biohacking. We also had a session on space, which I actually was not able to attend, but I thought it was very good. Um, and we also did stuff related to the quantified self and its implications for healthcare mm. and, and the medical industry. Um, the World Economic Forum hosted a small pre-session with us, which they did um, in our first year as well. So we, we do a good job um, about covering different subjects. Excellent. Tell me a little bit more about why technology plus the economy. What was the, what was the story behind that? Well, technology is really the, the brainchild of, of David. He's really sort of the, the vision and the energy um, behind this. Um, he has been the tech, had been the tech editor at Fortune for a long time, so obviously he's already been interested in this. And our belief, his belief, is that to some degree all leaders need to be technologists to really mm. succeed and lead. And while they don't have to understand the bells and whistles of the technology, they do need to understand the implications of the technology in their particular realm, a country or a country. Okay. Uh, it's very exciting and I, you know, it happens um, in uh, November, doesn't it? it? It happens in November. We've had folks like Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates and Eric Schmidt, um, Marissa Mayer, Padma Warrior, a lot of very interesting people that maybe aren't as familiar to it as others, but we, we managed to get a good group of people today. Fantastic. And it's about 250 people. It's only invitation, so guys, you know, just hope and pray that she wants you there. <laughs> so wonderful. Tell me a little bit more about your own personal journey. So I, I, start, I actually started off with a not-for-profit mm -hmm. um, with, called the Computer World Smithsonian Awards that really doesn't exist in, in, in the state it did. And that was a partnership with, between IDG, which is a big um, publisher, um, International Data Group and mm. the Smithsonian and mm. the charter was to really help the Smithsonian keep track of how what was happening in the IT revolution. So what we did for them was work with the CEOs of the top tech companies on um, finding out how people were using their technology to basically use them as a search engine. Right? The people who are producing the technology are the best place to let us know mm -hmm. how it was being used and you know that was back in the day we would get case studies of paper form, which is there are big boxes in the Smithsonian somewhere full of <laughs> case studies and, and archival materials. I think Sega got nominated once and they sent us a an arcade game um, which stayed in the office for a long time. But that that was really I've always been 
involved in activities that relate to how technology is being applied, um, whether it's in business, whether it's in science, um, media, arts, entertainment. Um, and that's what you enjoy doing the most. I do, I do. Um, so I, you know, I get to meet a lot of fantastic people. I, I get to learn a lot. I, I have a broad yet shallow depth of knowledge on a lot of different <laughs> things. <laughs> And you live in New York, a wonderful I'm, city, and we are there right now having dinner together. Yep, so, um, excellent stuff. So, yep. congratulations and best of luck with the tech economy. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Cheers.